Good afternoon, it's Kristen Hancock, the Simcoe County Stamper, and I am here with another Share a Tip Tuesday. And today we're gonna to be talking about making bows um, and a little bit of a tip for how not to waste ribbon. So I'm gonna start with this new black and white ribbon. This ribbon is super cute. It's gonna be in the new mini catalog that comes out in August. So you're getting a sneak peek. So when I make bows, I leave the ribbon on the spool. I don't cut a piece off. And I use bunny ears because I honestly find it the simplest way to make bows when crafting. Um, when I first started crafting, bows were my nemesis. I used to avoid them at all costs because I found them really frustrating to make. Um, but I've come a long way. Now I'm quite comfortable. So what I'll start with is one loop. So one bunny ear, second bunny ear. You're going to cross them over, okay? And so then you have a hole down here and this loop is gonna come through that hole. And then you're just going to pull both. And now you're left with the bow on the spool so you can keep tweaking it. You can make it smaller, you can make it bigger. Um, just by pulling the loop. Um, and when you go to cut, you're not wasting anything on this end, and then you're just snipping off a tiny piece. So there's really no waste. Um, if you're like me and you cut a piece of ribbon first and you're kind of guesstimating how long you want it to be, there's usually um, substantial waste on both ends. So let me do that again just to show you. One bunny loop, bunny ear, a second one, Cross them over, bring it through that little hole in the bottom, and pull. There you go. So I find it easiest to do with thin ribbon. So I'll do it with this thin ribbon as well. One ear, second ear, remember to cross them over and you're looking for that hole in the bottom to come through. There you go. And then you can play with it. You can kind of squish the loops down to make them round again if they get flattened. You can make them as small as you want just by pulling. Okay. So it can be done with a fatter ribbon as well. Um, so I'll show you with that. And the only part that gets tricky with the fatter ribbon is when you try to pull it through the hole. Sorry about that. Okay, so we'll do one loop. And you can see how the ribbon has to be a little bit longer um, when you are using a thicker ribbon, just to give yourself a little bit more room to play. And the second loop, when you cross them over, you'll notice that the hole isn't quite as big. It's a little bit trickier to, to get it through. There we go. that one isn't as pretty. And here's the thing when you're doing it on the spool, if you don't like how it looks, you just pull it and you start over again. And that is one of the best things about keeping it all on the spool. So I'll do that again. All right, so the other thing I wanted to show you is twine. So it can be done with twine as well. The same thing, we're just gonna make two loops. Now this is kind of a stiff twine. It's another sneak peek for the mini catalog. Or maybe it's not, I'm not even sure. Don't quote me on that. So many of my annual catalog things I haven't played with yet, so it all feels new to me. 
forget where I get it from. So there you go. There are two twine bows. So that is my tip for making bows and not wasting any ribbon. If you have any tips or tricks that you want to share for how you make bows, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you have a tip of your own and you're comfortable sharing a video, I am happy to share it with everyone if you want to send it to me if you're comfortable doing so. Um, other than that, thank you so much for watching and have fun making bows. Take care.